Okay, welcome everyone. So, a nice little checkpoint video. This is my Veteran 1 build, or level 50 build, of the Sorcerer. First I'll go through the gear, um, talk about what your skills you're using, and basically how it's been with the Sorcerer compared to when I did things with the Templar, right, like a long time ago, right? So, with the gear, for me, it's important. Obviously, one, he looks amazing, yeah. He, if your character looks cool, if he looks the part, then you feel the part. And I think at the moment, how, how he is, he looks fucking really, 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 really cool. But yes, I digress. So, what it is, um, I can't seem to find the enchantments to the heavy, uh, for the veteran one but really it would be a health enchantment and a health enchantment on the heavy and it would be five magic ones but because I couldn't put a health on the heavy I put I just took one on the uh, on the level 50 stuff so as you can see it's all the sorcerer so making everything really cheap everything's that and also a big like magic recovery yeah so you re regening as well as making things cheaper for yourself right i just made it all, i just make things green with my main just because it only costs two two of the things so it's cheap as hell and these obviously i'm always I'll, I'll upgrade these later but it's always roughly the same reducing the cost increasing magic reducing the cost increasing magic reducing the cost increasing magic um my restoration staff is shock just because I do the storm like the storm god build just because it's easy to kill everything and same with this lightning staff and same again so where are we where are we okay so on to the actual skills shadow in prison uh, that's always your first thing you blast that at everyone everyone frozen in place uh, then obviously the blockade of storms then lightning flood, then major's wrath finishing them off. Okay, the difference is now I use the inner light, right? So if you can read it, it gives your spell critical chance. It jumps your spell crit chance by nineteen percent, right? This build because the traits I've got on. Uh, no, it's not the traits. Yeah, uh, with the staff, increase your crit chance by four percent. So if we go on here, my thing's already 16%, right? But as soon as I cast that little mage light, it's now 35% chance of critting, right? That's a high ash chance. And because you're doing a lot of lightning stuff, it's a lot of DPS going down. So you have a much higher chance of doing crits. Okay, so we'll just recap these, right? So shattering prison. As you can read it, it'll hold them in place and then explode. Um, the reason for the blockade of storms is because it's a much wider field and it lasts a lot longer. So yeah, the other one is close and it explodes to hurt, but chances are you're going to miss a couple of people. So it's nice to be a nice wide path. And then as soon as you know, do that, boom, set that off. That's lasting a while. And then set the flood off, just fucking blasting them down. And just aim at one guy, keep shooting him down to the major's wrath. It explodes, hurts everyone else around him, and then obviously just keep doing that for the other people. Right at the moment, it was charged at an arch. Uh, it seems like I've finished that, which is handy. So, what it will be here, what it is there, is energy overload. So this is just so you can use it on mobs willy nilly, right? So obviously you can build it all up to like a thousand percent and then you just keep chipping away at it killing everything right so that's the main then you go on to your heals I can show you some of the videos where I've just survived everything that no one else survives with this build this this is the survivability is unbelievable right you just have your illustrious healing um, rapid regeneration and your combat prayer that's Fantastic! You can read that. It heals the allies and that for that much. But allies gain, including yourself, 750 armor and spell resistance for eight seconds, and 10% additional damage. Right? Unstable clan fear. It's so handy. So much health. 
and the summon twilight matriarch just to heal you and it heals you a lot more than you expect so as we can see the clan here has 3000 life yeah and obviously you can boost it all right so that's now boosted if you look at the top left it's got the just under my experience bar it's got them things showing what these guys have got on it yeah which is pretty damn cool right, and obviously you can obviously replen all their their health so they just don't die right but i'll show you a bit of the gameplay with the uh storm god build and a bit with the uh the survivability of this okay right i'll show you a bit of the storm god build i'll just bring this guy over yeah so obviously lock him in place get the field down and then just concentrate on one person and as you can see things die <laughs> very very fast yeah I barely had to do anything then uh, obviously sometimes you got to spam the lightning to kill people but if you play like this you'll quickly realize you can very much control the field extremely easy what the, what the hell is everyone oh, there's some more people uh, obviously these are only level 45 but it's fine no, get away from him, he's mine. Oh, here we go, there's some more people. So, obviously, freeze him, blast that, and then just concentrate. So, that's pretty much it. It doesn't really matter what level they are. I mean, yeah, it'd be exactly the same case if they were the same level as me. As you can imagine, you just freeze them in place and blast the DPS down. Uh, with all the others just going in, in a nice row across, right? But I'll show you the uh, restoration surviving skills. Right, so uh, I've got my two beasties. Uh, so we're just doing this group boss here. I'll try and do it solo. Obviously, it can bring down my storm action arch, so that's all part of it. That's why he's there. But because my clamp is there, he's boosted. We'll survive, yeah, there's no worries. Obviously not finished yet, there's plenty more to do. Because we've got my wing twilight, he's going to make sure no one dies. Or me, anyway, more specifically. Because he'll heal me when I need it. So just keep your guy always boosted, that seems the point thing. And now, obviously this dude. Yeah. No, get away from me. You want to try and avoid aggro. Yeah, you, you really want to try and avoid it. But obviously, keep your heels on. And this is why I all my traits is all about boosting, uh, boosting my armor. Because you don't, it's all well and good blasting out all the damage. But if you can't even take a hit and you drop after a second, or you're panicking, then that's, that's no good. So I was waiting to try and build up my name, but I'm just showing you the survivability of this that you won't be able to do solo. I mean, this is level 47, uh, big dude. So this may take a few minutes. Get away from me. That's fine. Yeah, so yeah, you know I mean, it's. So this, the heals on it is really, really good. There's literally no worries about dying. So I don't, I can just stand still, probably, unless he goes toe to toe with me. So as soon as my summons down, watch his health drop. That's what I mean, that's why this storm action arch is amazing for bosses. He'll just absolutely rape it. There we go, 100%. Okay, so he was at 40 when I first pressed it, but it will drop in seconds. So 25. There we go. If I can drop down, I think, yeah, that's it for my storm action arch, unfortunately. Well, you couldn't do this 
with so much ease and no worries of any other class, I don't think. Um, complete shit. But yeah, that's how to play as a undying sorcerer. But that's it, guys. That's my very, 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 very efficient build. Yeah, from as soon as you can. I mean, keep it, and you will never die. You'll you'll always do a fantastic job, right? Well, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, please give it a go, because you'll be pleasantly surprised with how epic it is. All right, well, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment. Please subscribe. I'm trying my hardest to get to a 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, help me out. I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.